system. He was way ahead of his time. He he sort of saw something that nobody else even considered or or thought possible at the time. And you know, he he was somebody who was standing up for what he believed in such a pure and authentic way. And because of that sort of purity of ambition and and sort of purity of heart, he was able to recruit a bunch of people, and and they were able to have the largest slave uprising in the history of the United States. Uh, you know, in a in a country that has quite a, a a long sort of dangerous history with slavery, so this is a, a huge pivotal character. And I was really kind of ashamed that I'd never heard anything about this. But then to learn about it and to learn about the story, and then to learn about how the story's been dealt with since, it's it's you know, it's great. And I'm I'm glad that people will be introduced to this character. Initially, the thing that drew me to the project was Nate. You know, there's there's no question about it. He was just his his passion and his verve for it. And when we sat down to have a meeting for it, he went into this thing. Was like, this is what I see that this movie might be able to do, and what what I want to achieve, and blah blah blah. And he had thought out everything. He would planned everything, and he would put so much effort and work into this, into sort of like the pre-production stages. But not only that, he knew how he wanted to shoot every single scene. He knew how he wanted to capture every single character. He knew how everything was going to go because he'd, he'd done it like a chess game in his head so many times before I, what could possibly go wrong? How would I deal with it? Blah, 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 blah. And then also as, you know, I'm an actor and I, w I would ultimately love to direct a movie. So to see an actor go on to direct a movie for the first time while still having to act in the movie. I thought it would be an interesting learning experience for me, and I thought I'd be able to go and see what caught him off guard, what he wasn't ready for, you know, mistakes he made that I might be able to learn through by proxy kind of thing. But he showed up on the first day, and he was ready. He was in a suit because he wasn't acting the first day, and he was like, put that camera here, put that light there, move that there, blah, 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 and he just had everything down, and it was just, it was like watching a seasoned professional do it. So Nate was initially, Nate was initially the first draw, and also the thing the element that kept everybody going through the whole thing. The sort of one unifying thing that kept everybody focused and kept everybody committed on set every single day at every moment was, I mean, it was probably twofold. It was the fact that we were telling a story that was sort of very dear and very precious and very powerful at the same time. And also, we we knew that Nate had worked on this for the last seven or eight years, you know, and out of respect for the amount of effort and work that he put into this, it would be rude of us, and I mean just like downright ignorant to show up and not be able to focus for five weeks or however long we were going to work on it. So there, there, was, there was definitely like, you know, we wanted to make Nate happy, and we also knew that this was an important story to tell, and we wanted to do it well.